What's up guys? Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. This game is a game series that I absolutely love. Even though I've only played the second game, never played the first one, I love the second game. It's a very good one. This one is called Mafia 3. Uh, it's basically, you know, Mafia. You know, you join, you're you a part of a mafia and you go around and do jobs for them, I guess. I don't know. This one might be different. Not sure. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So, I'll see about that. Because I love Godfather 2, the video game, where you basically go around, do jobs, take over stores, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of, it's very fun. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's been hurting me lately. 1968, New Bordeaux. I think that's how you pronounce it, Louisiana. The rules of organi organized crime have changed. After years of combat in Vietnam, Lincoln Clay knows this truth. Family isn't who you're born with, it's who you die for. When his surrogate family, the Black Mob... That's... That's not a family name. Whatever. It's betrayed and wiped out by the Italian Mafia, Lincoln... Builds a new family uh, on the ashes of the old and blaze a path of revenge through the brutal criminal underworld responsible. Deliver military grade revenge any way you want. Shit. Yeah. To fight a new breed of organized crime family. Own a new board. <coughs> Own new Bordeaux, a s city open world detailed with sights, sounds, and charged social atmosphere of 1968 America. One player. So this game is strictly one player. No online. Good. They didn't need to screw up the series by making it online. Rated M for blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and use of drugs. Completely expected. So let's put the beginning of the start of the box. You got the new character there, Lincoln. Then you have some dude who's about to get hit by a car. <laughs> on the back. Let's get a little bit closer there. You got some of the people. Pause whenever you want. And you're done. Alright, let's unbox it. <sighs> yes, that's how far the blade goes out with this thing. This this was this was given to me by a coworker at my current job. From our last job because I left my box cutter there. So she's like, hey, I can, I, can, I have a couple of them in there. I mean, I actually went up to her and asked her if she could go by the workplace and get it. She's like, I have a couple in my car. I'm like, all right, I'll take it. Take one. <clears throat> Didn't even get it, did I? Nope. Then I'll have to go with my nails because thing apparently doesn't like cutting through this kind of plastic, just like just the other one. Alrighty. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, what's this? Is this like a poster? Pre order bonus. I didn't pre order this. Let's see what this is. Ah. It is a map of the city. That's uh, it's a pretty big one. A pretty big one. Yes. Definitely something she did say. Normally I can't fold these things, so get. Okay. Alright, and we have a pre-order bonus for Family Kickback, which has three exclusive vehicles and three exclusive weapons. I didn't pre-order this. But I'm getting some DLC. Yay. Apparently there's a mobile game. What is... Oh my god. Is this a manual? No. It looks like it. But it's not. Is there a code in there? No. It's just one of those things. So, sweet. I get some DLC for it. Here's the disc. Same as the front. Except uh, just the character himself. And since my Xbox One is on right now, I'm going to go ahead and pop it in, because I have like 50 minutes, so I have to go to work, so more than likely it's not going to be done by the time I go, but I want to at least get part of it done, so when I do come home, it'll be ready. So, uh, <clears throat> got a little bit of a semi-announcement for the channel. I'm going to bring, 
I'm going to bring stuff back again. Uh, <clears throat> in all honesty, all I needed was really was a break. Even though I even though I had time a time break for a a decent while to begin with, I feel like I need needed a little bit more time. Now I feel like it's been adequate enough time. Okay, it just it just told me something here. Sorry, I'm... Okay, there it goes. It, it was taking a second. Why is it queued now? You'll need this in order to play online. Okay. How big is it? I don't know. I didn't read that part out loud. Let's see how minimum size this is. Up to 50. So yeah, it's not going to be done by the time I get back. Well, it could be. Wow! Wait. Yeah, um... The game total, since I'm right here at it, 43.95 gigabytes. That's a lot. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to bring back Let's Plays again. I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to start with Sunset Overdrive. Because I know that one I'm almost done with. I already know that. And once I finish that, I'm going to go back to Oblivion. Rest and Clank's going to be last because you know, I haven't been feeling like playing platformers right now. So I'll play that one. And then uh, once those are over, uh, I might go and try starting Pokemon Gold. I tried a month ago. I wasn't feeling it. It was pissing me off at the time. So anyway, rambling on. Thank you for watching this episode of whatever this is. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you on the next one. Whenever it is. Whatever it is. Whenever it is. But <clears throat> if anything, stay tuned some point Tuesday uh, for a stream. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't even know if it's going to happen. It's on Bud's YouTube channel. Not on mine because I can't stream YouTube yet with my Xbox One. I can, but it's not going to look very good. But stay tuned for that. I will post a tweet on my Twitter, which is at Delta Merrick's, you know, easily. You can you can find me pretty quick on that. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you.